All right, so I just got done rearranging some of these shelves that you see here, and I figured why not make a new collection video? It's been a few years since I made one of these, and some people commented asking for it. So I'm just gonna go through left to right here and show you what I've got. Up here is all of the Titans and Supreme Class and other stuff that can't fit on the shelves like Jetwing Optimus and my absurd collection of Armada <laughs> Unicrons and the Seeker Mold there. And also this Hoist Mold, which I love. I put here because their arms stick out. There's Cybertron, Starscream, Unicron, Primus, and then the really big guys, Fortress Maximus, Devastator, Metroplex, Trypticon. And these little guys here are the PVC Armada figures. I got a set of all of the silver ones there, and then I've got most of the full colored ones here. Okay, and then over here in the left cabinet, this shelf is pretty random. We've got the yellow Sam's Club Optimus, this is the Hascon Energy Bank Optimus, G1 Starscream, Thrilling Third V Waspinator. Over here we've got some animated. I don't have a lot of animated in my collection, which I know is blasphemy to some people, but it's just not my thing. And back there you've got Botcon uh, Astro Train, who I love because I love the Jetfire mold. Down here there's some more random ones, some Power Core Combiners, this white Combiner Wars Optimus, uh, the stealth animated lockdown back there some more power core combiners Down here. We got some random legends figures a couple Optimus Prime trailers and a couple Energon guys and back up here We have Omega Prime and that is the Sam's Club uh, light blue ultra magnets he's combined with and also a lot of Cybertron figures here including the Toys R Us Cybertron Starscream Galvatron Wing Saber who I think is super underrated and then down here, we've got even more Cybertron, Megatron. That is the Takara version of Vector Prime, who has way cooler paint than the Hasbro version. Also looks more accurate to the show. And his Cyber Key especially looks a lot cooler if you can see it back there. Cybertron Defense Team, which is awesome. Override, who I just got about a year ago, actually. Some more small Legends class guys. And then down here, we have some more Energon, Scorponaut, Megatron, Landmine, some others, some Cybertron too. And down here we have the American version of Vector Prime in the middle, and some more Energon Cybertron. And also, the few parts I have of G1 Metroplex that I grabbed at a convention, and I've yet to complete him, but he's super cool. All right, this is one of my favorite shells because it's ridiculous. We've got Tidal Wave, Tidal Wave, Megatron, Galvatron, three Cyclonuses, four demolishers and four thrusts. I try to get every repaint of every Armada mold because I love Armada and this shelf showcases this. I especially love the red thrust here because he took me a long time to find. And I also really love Tidal Wave and his Japanese colors back there because it's something that I always wanted when I was little. I never understood why he was those other colors. Of course, now I love both. Okay, this is a shelf that for whatever reason just happens to all be Optimus Primes. So I'm not going to name every single one of them, but it's from all over the place. Movies, Unicron Trilogy, classics, some small guys like from fast food meals and keychains, things like that. This shelf is all Optimus. Here we have even more Primes in the back. We got Energon Prime combined with Wing Saber, some Cybertron figures, some Armada figures. These repaints of Sideswipe I just got. Down here we have the three Seekers from the original 2007 mold. For some reason that Sky Warp is still one of my favorites. I don't know why, I just really like the paint on him. We have the original Revenge of the Fallen Demolisher right there. Some of the little Titans Returns guys. I'm completely blanking on the name of the Bugatti guy from Age of Extinction. And this pink uh, laser beak from Dark of the Moon who's a pink version of Bumblebee. My uncle actually found this for me for $5 at a dirt cheap. I guess someone returned it to Target who ordered it online and they didn't know what it was or something like that. But yeah, he's super random and cool. Okay, back up here. This is one of my favorite shells because it's got even more Armada. I love the Costco Armada Optimus back there with the random yellow, black, maroon with overload on top. In the other corner, I've got the Japanese version of Armada Optimus with the bright yellow highlights, the American version in front of him, the Japanese magazine exclusive version of Nemesis Prime right there, the other deluxe Bendy Optimus 
a PVC Armada Optimus, and some of the most famous Minicons from Armada. We've got the Corona versions of Spark Plug right there. Uh, the three main Minicons that always hung out with the humans, more Spark Plug, and the small PVC version of Spark Plug over there. And in the next shelf, it's even more of that. We've got the Kmart Optimus with the uh, Energon Ultra Magnus on his shoulders, the regular American Power Links Optimus, who's got the uh, regular overload on his shoulders. This guy who my cousin sold to me, who's really awesome, it's a recolor of Ultra Magnus with a new head. That's the Sentinel Maximus from the Transformers Collectors Club. And a lot more PVC Armada Optimus is here, including the one that comes with the Star Saber. I think something like every one in 10 randomly came with the Star Saber. So it's super cool that I got one that came with it. Some more PVC Optimus is in the back. Armada Blur, and this is the Skyboom Shield over here. And down here we have even more Armada and technically Energon Tidal Wave back there. And also the redos of Armada Hotshot and Starscream right there. We've got four of the Armada Red Alert molds here, including the original, Power Links, Universe Inferno right there. And I think this one was sold as Prowl in either Sam's Club or Costco. And down here we've got a bunch of Minicons. I have a whole video talking about my favorite Minicons out of these. And yeah, there's tons of them, tons of repaints because all of the Armada repaints I have come with the repaint of the Minicon. Some of them just the same. Lots of cool ones, including the green Unicron's dead in there, which really stands out. So these are about half of the Minicons. And then back up here, and back there we've got the Linkin Park Soundwave. I've kept it in the box because I'm such a huge Linkin Park fan and I love the way the box kind of says Transformers and Linkin Park on it. And we've got the Prime and Megatron I used in the Prime vs. Megatron stop motion. They are special to me, so they've got kind of a special place right here on this shelf. And I've got a bunch of G1 figures, including authentic ones that I've grabbed at some random comic shops and some of the reissues that have come out in Walmart recently. And the Optimus here in the case, within the case, is one of the authentic ones. That's an actual 1984 Optimus. I got him in great condition. He still has all of his stickers. He's got all of his accessories in that trailer. And yeah, I'm super happy to have such a great condition original Optimus right there. This guy here, who I actually don't know the name of, was the very first Transformer I ever got. I think he came in a Burger King meal or some fast food meal, but I remember having him for years before I actually understood what Transformers were. So that's why he has a special place on this shelf. Over here is the Transformers Prime shelf. Transformers Prime is the only series that I have that fits to one shelf. I've got almost the whole main cast here. Just missing Cliff Jumper, Knockout, and a few others. A lot of them were hard to find in the States, so these are mostly all only figures that are from the States. But I love the first edition figures. Really happy to have first edition Optimus, Bulkhead, RC. I feel really bad for people who missed out on the first edition Prime because that Optimus to me is just so much better than the one that came out later. I didn't have Megatron for the longest time, but my buddy sold me him earlier this year, so I'm pretty happy to have a nearly complete Transformers Prime cast right there, and that's the Transformers Prime shelf. Down here we have a Classics Universe uh, chug shelf, just a mix of stuff from the different lines, including the Thrilling 30 Orion packs and Megatron somewhere in there, and the big six shot and Overlord there in the back, and uh, this Deluxe Optimus who I feel like people either love him or hate him. I really loved him. For a long time, he was the only G1 Optimus I had. Megatron, on the other hand, is eh, he's okay. Down here, we have a few Bumblebees for some reason in the back, as well as some smaller figures and mostly Minicons. Some great Minicons here, especially this repaint of the Space or Requiem Blaster team I really like. I think they came with Energon Ultra Magnus, so they're a highlight of this shelf for me. And another highlight is the BotCon exclusive Astro Train Minicons that are there in the back. Okay, easily my most expensive shelf here. We've got Masterpiece Optimus, Masterpiece Optimus, and Masterpiece Optimus. And we've got Masterpiece Megatron and Masterpiece Megatron. Besides the new Unicron that I pre-ordered, this Masterpiece Megatron is the most expensive figure in my collection. We've also got Masterpiece Bumblebee here, this non-transforming Optimus that was recently out at Walmart. I forget he makes that and the G1 Soundwave reissue here. Down here we've got more classics or universe or chug or whatever you want to call it. 
In addition to the Walmart Masterpiece Starscream back there, that's the first version of Masterpiece Starscream. Fall of Cybertron Grimlock. That Ratchet over there is some kind of exclusive, but I can't remember anything about him. I actually got him secondhand for only $10, and I remember reading that and being excited that he was exclusive. This RC is the Hascon exclusive RC, and I've actually got her box put away, signed by her voice actress, Sue Blue. Okay, down here is the first live action movie verse shelf. Uh, a lot of these characters are not actually in the movies, they're repaints of other characters, but some of them are, like the 2007 original Ironhide back there, Chromia up here, We've got Robot Replicas Megatron there, the Twins, and other Robot Replicas uh, Barricade here. I really like Robot Replicas, I really enjoyed them when they came out. I always wanted to make some stop motions with them, but I don't think I ever did, uh, besides one with Jazz. I also really like this deluxe long arm. Some of my favorite movie figures are characters that were never in the movie. Okay, down here are even more classics, universe, chug, whatever you want to call it, including some awesome ones back there. I really love that onslaught. I like that silver bolt as well, even though he doesn't combine. Lots of cool stuff right there. Here's another movie verse shelf. I've got MPM Optimus, the Japan colored version back there and MPM Megatron. Both of those are very recent acquisitions. I've also got a mix of studio series and original figures here, including the studio series uh, Bumblebee movie Optimus Prime, a couple of Bumblebees, the repaint into Cliff Jumper. Before studio series, and I guess still today since Overload isn't technically out, this is the only Devastator that has robot modes and a combined mode. And yeah, he was always a really cool figure to me. I made a stop motion with him a while back. I also always loved this Revenge of the Fallen Soundwave in his Cybertronian mode. For some reason, this has always been a favorite figure of mine, and I'm curious to see if the studio series will live up to it. Here are some more Movieverse figures, including the original Revenge of the Fallen Optimus, Leader Brawl, who I think is excellent despite him getting an update in the studio series, I still love that figure, and some others, including uh, here's Robot Replicas Jazz, I mentioned them, and the Battle Damage version of RC. That pack that came with her in Battle Damage was really cool because it also came with Battle Damage, Jazz, and Optimus. And they all have molded on Battle Damage. So it's not just paint, but actual little ships in their armor and things like that to give them the Battle Damage look. And uh, yeah, down here is Jazz who I was talking about. If you can see, he has a whole different head sculpt. Half his head is kind of like burned off, which is really cool. And the other stuff on the shelf is more movie figures including the original Dark of the Moon Sentinel back there, both Studio Series and the original Blackout, Studio Series Brawl, Studio Series Bone Crusher and the original Wreckage, Robot Replicas, uh, or no, actually that's um, Studio Series Barricade, and Scorponaut. And down here in the last cabinet is even more Movieverse figures. We've got the Revenge of the Fallen Leader Megatron, Jetfire, Rescue Ratchet, original Shockwave, Dropkick, who is another one of those non-movie movie figures that I love. The original Voyager Megatron, who is still charming in his own way if you ask me. Studio Series Dark of the Moon Soundwave, and the original Barricade. Over here to the side for some reason is an extra Vector Prime that I have. A movie incinerator over here. Transformers Prime Unicron, who I've got in the box over there. And the original 2007 Leader Megatron, who I took out because I replaced him with NPM Megatron. Way up there in the corner, I don't even remember what that thing is called, but it's like a giant piece of Optimus armor that you're supposed to have like the Transformers Prime Legend figures on. And way up here in the top, I've got a bobblehead, a bank, uh, I think this is called Spud B, a bunch of these little, uh, I think they're called Robot Heroes figures from the movie and from Classics Designs. This Bumblebee beatbox guy, Creo Optimus in a package, the 25th anniversary G1 Optimus reissue that comes with the belt buckle. Megatron must be stopped, no matter the cost. Does awesome sounds. And these little guys, I forget what they're called as well, but they like crash into each other and transform whenever they hit something. And this little Creo guy here. I've also got over here the Universal Studios exclusive Evac, who's part of the ride there in that park that I've been to a couple times. I actually got this from a friend before I ever went. I had him pick it up for me. Big Transformers Prime poster over here. 
I've got an unopened Minicon set here. I've got duplicates of them over on the Minicon shelf. And I've got an unopened PVC Armada Megatron here. I think I'll open him one day soon now that I have the Optimus to go with him. But I couldn't bear to open him because he looks so cool in the packaging. Also, I think I missed above Fortress Maximus over here is a unopened Armada Nemesis Prime. That's the American one who's different than the Japanese one I pointed out earlier right there. And tragically, I've got some figures that I've decided to let go of over here, including Energon Mirage, Universe Galvatron, this Energon guy who I don't know the name of, and a couple of Dark of the Moon figures. Over here, I have some more recent figures. I've got the three Rainmakers up there, a lot of Studio Series right underneath them, including all of the Constructicons that have been released so far. And I got Bumblebee, the RC Sisters uh, dropkick from the Bumblebee movie, and yeah, all the Constructicons right there. And on the shelf below, I've got all of the Siege figures that I have so far. So I got the 35th anniversary Optimus and Megatron back there, Soundwave, Sideswipe, I'm not gonna name them all, you can see them, but all of the Siege figures that have caught my eye and that I've bought from the recent line. And also, one of the only two third-party figures I have right here, uh, I don't know the third party name for this guy, but I've got this little Cosmos right here. And on my work desk, I have a third party movie prime. But yeah, this is the War for Cybertron C shelf so far. And over here waiting to be open is Ironworks. This is the most recent figure that I bought and the first Earthrise figure. And yeah, that is a tour of my Transformers collection as of May 2020. Thanks for watching.